morning everyone and happy Saturday. Welcome back to another episode of my weekly vlog series, Chelsea in the City, where I document the behind the scenes of my life living here in Melbourne even during lockdown. Now, the latest update is that masks are mandatory, so we have to wear masks whenever we leave our homes. Obviously, if you have, you know, some kind of condition where you can't wear a mask, whether it be a skin condition, an auditory condition, or, you know, maybe even asthma, uh, things like that, there are exceptions. So, you know, they're encouraging us not to assume that somebody is just blatantly breaking the law if you don't wear a mask because you can actually get fined $200 here. So there have been a lot of changes, but this channel is all about staying positive even during really difficult times. So just know that the Frenchie fam is here for you. I want you to feel uplifted in this video. So we're going to focus on the positives this weekend, but I thought I would start the video here. We'll go for a walk into the city, grab a takeaway coffee, I do live in the city. I'm very lucky that that's my neighborhood so I can show you guys what it's like here in Melbourne now that masks are compulsory and just you know now that lockdown life has really settled in. I think we're maybe around the two week mark into lockdown. Don't quote me. The days have just blurred into one but we will get through this together and like I keep mentioning, I'm trying to dress up and have fun with my fashion during lockdown. So today I'm wearing this beautiful top from Cook Eye and I've layered some necklaces for something different. I have applied makeup even though I have to wear a mask and it will ruin it. But I just want to feel good and wearing makeup makes me feel good. So. I'm just gonna go with that. Anyway, before we properly begin, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, come and join the Frenchie fam. And if you want to download my free self-care checklist, head to my website, I'll leave the link below. I'd love for you to have a look at my 11 daily self-care non-negotiables. Anyway, it's time to get caffeinated. I've been craving a coffee all morning. And I should also mention, I did squeeze in an acupuncture appointment this morning, so I'm feeling very balanced, very zen, and just ready to have a good weekend. I'm all masked up. I've got my coffee and my other Melbourneian accessory, my mask. <laughs> so cheers, everyone, and let's go for a bit of a walk and see what's happening in the city. So we can actually take our masks off to drink coffee and to eat, but obviously, I mean, how else would you? but you have to wear them every other time and most people are wearing them to be honest. I haven't seen too many people without them so I feel like Melbourne has caught on pretty quickly but I am going to take a break to drink my coffee. I'm here in the Emporium and there aren't too many people inside as you can see. This mask is driving me crazy but we have to do what we have to do. And yeah, I'm just heading around for a bit of a walk getting my daily steps in and it's just so good to walk for your mind, your body, and your soul. I'm smiling underneath, guys. <laughs> Not many people around. I'm just doing a bit of a lap and I'm just dealing, every time I talk, it's slipping down, but I'm sure by the end of lockdown, I will be a mask pro. <laughs> I'm also looking at buying a reusable mask. So if you have a suggestion, leave a comment below. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? You couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by Good morning everyone and happy Sunday fun day. It's around 10 a.m. and I feel like I've had a really productive Sunday morning. I'm ready at 10 a.m. so that says a lot. Anyway, last night I had a lovely dinner, a lovely Saturday night in. I've been treating myself every Saturday night to some kind of Uber Eats but something a bit more like high end because usually on a Friday or Saturday night in normal times I would go out for dinner with my family, we'd go to a lovely restaurant or with my friends and you know grab drinks but now we can't do that so I've been treating myself to a special Saturday night dinner and last night I got this beautiful Chinese food from a restaurant called the Clarendon Hotel in South Melbourne. It was just so good. I had like crispy tofu, tempura vegetables. What else did I have? 
a curry. It was just delicious. So I'm really glad that I treated myself because now I feel like I've done something and today I have a few things to tick off the list. One being coffee, two being getting my groceries from the South Melbourne market and three, I think I'm going to treat myself to some flowers as well because you know what? I'm not going to wait around for people to buy flowers for me. I'm going to practice self-love and treat myself. I feel like if you guys are in the same boat, like treat yourself to something. You don't even have to spend money. It could be putting on a face mask, it could be like having a pamper night in, or just having a lazy Sunday afternoon, whatever suits you. But for me, I love the feeling of receiving fresh flowers, so why not buy myself some? <laughs> anyway, that's the plan for today. I'll bring you along as per usual, but yeah, let's get going. But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all but why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Inexplicable, I can feel it in the air Can you feel me? show you guys what I got from the South Melbourne market. So I bought myself a loaf of gluten-free bread, some coconut milk, some coconut yogurt, some silken tofu. I've got some veggie broth as well, which I love having in the afternoons with some hot water. And then I thought I would try this. It's from Botanica Blends and it's a little sample pack of their magical mushroom mix. I'll read you what it says. I have never tried this before. So it's a combination of four types of mushrooms and you can use it to create a delicious hot chocolate drink in an instant. So it's saying these certified organic mushroom powders have been used traditionally to support immunity, digestion, cognitive, skin and overall good health. I'm yeah excited to try that to be honest. Enjoy as a comfort morning wake up, three o'clock chocolate fix, after dinner treat, or however you want it. So I'll let you guys know what I think of this one. I then also got the Macro Mike peanut butter powder. I am so obsessed with this. I actually add two heaped teaspoons into my porridge every morning. And yeah, I'm obsessed. What can I say? It honestly adds so much flavor. It's a good hit of protein. And I just love the Macro Mike brand. And I also treated myself to some beautiful flowers. How stunning are these? I feel like I wanted something to just brighten up my bedroom and to just lift my mood because flowers really do that. You know, they're natural, they have this beautiful fragrant smell and they're just a reminder of, I don't know, something beautiful to look at every single day. So I'm really happy with my purchase and I can't wait to put them in a vase and have them on display in my room. So I thought we could do this together. I'm just going to unwrap the flowers. And I'm actually going to keep the ribbon on because I feel like it just keeps them in a nice kind of arrangement. Whereas if you do cut it, I don't know, I feel like cutting the rope just makes it they all spread out a bit too much, whereas I personally like my flowers to look really structured and arranged. So let's have a look and see if they, oh yeah, that's perfect. I mean, what do you guys think? Maybe I should cut the rope. I'm always so indecisive when it comes to arranging my flowers. I feel like that's quite nice. Oh yeah. If I loosen them a bit, I think that looks beautiful. Or I could cut them a little bit. My flowers are 
are in this beautiful vase. This one is from Villaroy and Bock. I love this vase so much because it's white. It goes with every type of flower. I think it's just really pretty and minimal. So I'm going to put these on my bedside table in my room just to really freshen up my room, add in a bit of color and also just some like nature, I guess you could say. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am going to leave this video here. Life has changed a lot. Every time I film one of these videos, I feel like something has changed here in Melbourne. And what can I say, honestly, I feel like it's just a reminder to take each day as it comes, to embrace the present moment because that's all we have and just to be grateful for everything that we do have. And that's what I'm really trying to focus on today. On that note, I want you to leave a comment with one thing that you're grateful for today. I'm grateful for the fact that I can treat myself to these beautiful flowers and have a reminder of just like nature and natural beauty in my room because I feel like I needed this. I haven't bought myself flowers in ages, but yeah, it's always special when I do. What are you guys grateful for? Leave a comment down below. And yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam because I would love to have you on board. And I am releasing a new service very, very soon. A new product slash service. Kind of a combination of the two so stay tuned it's very exciting and i am launching it in the next few weeks so keep an eye out don't forget to yes yeah, say hello leave a comment down below introduce yourself if you're new around here and have an amazing day because you deserve it dream big make it happen and be your own biggest fan guys that's it from me for today i'll see you soon bye time to bring these flowers into my room Without dropping them. About the things we used to do. No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call?